Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Roxanne and today I have a hip opening flexibility routine for you to try in the comfort of your own home. Don't worry if you're not very flexible on your hips, this is suitable for beginners and it's going to help you improve your twerk and whining game. So let's get into it. So first we're going to start with the light full body warm up because we never want to stretch cold muscles. But this is a really simple routine so just follow and do. First rotate the head two times all the way around and then I'm going to reverse the other way two times as well. Nice, now I'm going to roll the shoulders back eight times. And then I'm going to roll them to the front also eight times. I'm then going to alternate my shoulders by rolling them back one by one. And then to the front. And I'm then going to bring my hips side to side, making sure that you feel a slight stretch in your inner th upper thigh. And I'm then going to push my booty to the back and then bring my pelvis to the front. And then I'm going to push my left hip outwards using my toes to um, open the hips even further. And then I'm going to swap to the right side. And then I'm going to take my pelvis all the way around. Big circles, try and make it as big as you can. Really stretch it out, and I'm then going to reverse the other way. And then I'm going to take a deep breath in, nice and high, open my arms out to the side, and then I'm going to stretch out my obliques on the left. And then I'll go into a flat back, ensuring that there's a nice straight line from the tips of my fingers all the way down to my lower spine. Then I'll bring my nose to my knee. Now don't worry if your nose cannot go all the way to your knee. In time, as you keep practicing and stretching, you will get there. And then I'm going to bring my hands and touch the floor. Um, bend your elbows for an extra stretch. And then I'm going to roll it up and repeat the same thing all on my right side. So deep breath in. Good. Stretch out those obliques. And then go into a flat back on the right. And then bring the nose down to the knee. And lastly, bring your hands both on the floor in the middle and bend your elbows if you can. I'm then going to go into second position, really pushing the knees out with the elbows. And then I'm going to push my right knee backwards even further. And then I'm going to swap and push the left knee back. Now I'm going to hold my ankles and I'm going to bend and straighten my knees three times. So I'm going to bend and straighten. Bend, straighten. 
last time bend and straighten now we are going to go into a lunge on the right hand side making sure that your knee is placed directly above your ankle place your hands flat on the ground next to your foot and hold this position don't forget to breathe so you can feed your muscles and get the most out of this stretch now i'm going to place my hands on my upper thigh and hold position for some more time Now we're going to go into our lizard stretch, bringing that knee down and raising the hands higher to the sky. I'm then going to bring my hands down and place my elbows on the ground next to my foot. Now if you can't hold the stretch or if it's too much for you, don't worry, feel free to come back up and place your hands flat on the ground. Nice. Now we're going to go into our pigeon pose. And for a deeper stretch, you're going to sprawl your body over your right leg, stretching your hands out to the front. If this is too much for you, feel free to stay in the previous position. Now we're going to repeat everything we just did, but on the left side. So you're going to bring it up, switch to the left and go into your lunge, placing those hands flat on the ground. Then bring those hands up onto that thigh. Hold the position again. And then we're going to go into our lizard stretch. Bring those hands down and go down onto your elbows on the other side. And as you can see, I'm not as flexible on this side, so I'm only able to bring my left elbow down, but not my right. But soon I will get there as long as I keep stretching and persevering, just like you should too. Then now we're going to go into our pigeon pose. And then once again, sprawl your body over your left leg.
Now we're going to go into the butterfly pose. Now for me, I really struggle with this, so I actively push my knees down with my elbows to really open my hips up. So if you also have the same problem as me, then I suggest you do the same. We are then going to go into a double pigeon pose, crossing one leg over the other and holding. And then I'm going to swap, crossing one leg over the other and repeating for the same amount of time. I'm then going to go into the garland pose. So I'm going to take a deep breath up bringing my hands together, stretching all the way down, bringing my booty below my knees and using my elbows to keep my knees nice and wide and open. This stretch is one of my favorite stretches. I don't even know why, I just enjoy being in this position. And now we're going to thread the needle by taking one leg, placing the ankle above your knee, grabbing the knee and pulling it towards you to really open those hips. This is also a great stretch for your glutes. And then I'm gonna swap on the other side. We're then going to go into a happy baby pose. Now, the goal here is to have your knees touching the ground. As you can see, I'm not there yet, but just like I said before, I'm going to keep doing this every day, practicing, 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 and in time you will see me there with my knees on the floor. And now I'm going to go into the frog pose. And here you can see the view from the back as well as the front. Really keep your knees in line with your hips and sink all the way down. I also love this stretch. I just really enjoy hip stretches. I like to have very loose and open hips. <laughs> Then I'm going to bring my hands up and another 20 seconds in the stretch. Now during this stretch you are really going to notice how much your hips are way far more open and a lot more flexible. And now we're going to go into our final stretch. I'm actually not too sure what this stretch is called, but it's a really nice way to further open up the hips and it's also good for the spine. So I'm gonna go on the right side and then bring the knees to the left side. And then repeat, go back to the right. And then to the left again.
one more time. And lastly, and we are done. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. I hope you enjoyed this hip stretching routine and I hope to see you again soon because like I said, you need to keep practicing and persevering for you to see real results. So thank you so much and I hope you have an amazing day.